welcome to the Great Switcheroo Part 2. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, we've got some great fun lined up for you guys for the next hour and a half. Uh, so I am starting things off with a ring pour, but a wrecked ring pour. All right. So this is a technique that Marcy from Mixed Media Girl uh, does quite often. So I got Marcy's technique and it'll be very interesting to see what everybody else has going on. After me at 3 p.m. is Tammy, followed by the other four artists. We've got Saskia Smith, Sandra Lett, Christina Welch, and Mixed Media Girl. So tune in, everybody's doing a premiere. So after my video is done, head on over to Tammy's video and so on and so forth. I wanna thank you guys so much for joining us today. The last switcheroo went so well. Everybody had such a great time. So we're gonna do it again and we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna bring you guys down. Let's get started. All right, guys, let's do this. We've got a 12 by 16 inch canvas. And this time I'm gonna do it a little differently. Last time I did the ring pour, I did one big ring pour in the middle. This time I'm gonna go with two ring pours and I'm gonna be using the paints I just got the other day, which is all Amsterdam. So we are using sky blue light. We are using pearl white. This is pearl violet. Then we have turquoise green. And then we have turquoise blue. And then finally, we've got ultramarine violet light. So I'm so excited to give these new colors a try. I just ordered a whole bunch more. Can't wait till they arrive. All right, so don't forget, when doing a ring pour, the color you put in first is the color that's gonna come out last. So I'm going to start with this, and I hope these aren't too thick. So I'm gonna put half here. Yeah, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to just do this real quick. I have a feeling these might be a little thick. Now, I'm not a ring person. I don't really do these ring pours. This is probably the second one I've done in a super long time. So I'm, you know, not really sure what the consistency is supposed to be. I know it's supposed to be thicker, thicker than my Dutch pours, but you just never know how thick though, right? Well, we'll find out. Yeah, this turquoise is not as thick as the rest. And I did do a drip test on a piece of paper, actually. I did do that. And they were all pretty good. They were all pretty good. All right, so there's my one cup. There you go. Now, I'm going to go this way. Might as well pour the rest. Might as well use it all up. I am so excited and cannot wait to see what everybody else comes up with. I don't even remember what technique everybody's doing. That's the funny thing. All right. I'm trying to do this quick because we are on a time crunch and everybody's supposed to do a video about 13 minutes long because you then have to jump over to the next person's video. Now, don't worry, because even though Tammy's on at three o'clock, there's always a two minute countdown timer. So it won't really start till 3.02. So don't panic if someone's video runs a little bit past the, you know, 15 minutes. Oh, this cup has way more paint. Wow, I did that poorly. <laughs> Look at the difference. Not quite. All right. So let's start, since this is such a bigger blob, let's do this one first. And then we'll do the other one. I'm very curious to see what's going to happen with this pearl white and uh, pearl violet. And I really hope I have enough paint because in my last ring pour, I had so much paint 
You guys were all laughing because I had this massive jug, huge jug of paint. And I had a lot left over, but it was great because I made little mini ring pours after and they're sitting on my shelf here in my studio. Well, this is pretty. All right, you remember? I was gonna say catch the drip, but then again, I am gonna wreck this ring pour. So I guess it doesn't really matter too, too much, but I'm gonna do it anyway. There we go. All right, now this little guy doesn't have very much going on in here, but you know. Oh, and I'm doing it left-handed. What am I thinking? Left-handed. All right. That is a lot of turquoise. I'm really liking the colors though. All right. This is weird with my left hand. Should I use my right hand? I don't know what I was thinking. Wow, this blob is a heck of a lot smaller than the other one. And I really hope I, <laughs> I have enough paint. All right, so what I have here is just some white white paint mixed with, uh, oh, and if you wanna know how I mixed this, this is all just mixed with uh, uh, paint and water because I did use Amsterdam paints and they're such, uh, it's a better quality than the Liquitex or Artist Loft. So uh, I just mix this with water. I will put the ratios of how I mix this in the description below. Don't forget, I will also put um, everybody's links to their videos uh, once all the videos have aired uh, in the description below as well. I better remember to wreck this before I tilt it. That's the whole point of this thing. All right, just trying to spread out some of this white to help the ring pour glide better. I uh, hope I have enough paint here. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. See, last time I made too much. And this time I'm like, oh, I'm going to be conservative. I'm going to make, I think I'm going to, I know how much to make. <laughs> and I don't think so. All right. I'm going to torch these bubbles really quick. Lots of bubbles. All right, now I'm gonna wreck it. So I think I'm just going to do that. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I'm just wrecking it. It's kind of sad though. I, I kind of didn't want to wreck it because it looked so pretty. I'm just doing little squiggles from the center. Okay, I think that's wrecked enough. Okay, let's uh, see if this thing's gonna actually move. Um, Cause she's uh, pretty heavy here, pretty thick. And my goal is I, I kinda wanna leave some negative white space on this, um, but we'll see what happens. Cause I'm not really sure how this is gonna pan out. Sorry, I'm tilting. I don't even know if you can see what's going on here. But uh, this little guy, I got to get him off the corner here like that. And then I want to bring him down, but I really like the colors, though. I want this guy. See, I'm losing. I'm losing it. I don't want to lose all of that. Uh, that's what happens when your blobs are different. All right, I'm gonna bring it back because I really don't want to ruin that blob. We'll keep this little blob by itself. Oh, I love the colors though, and this pearl is gonna be pretty. I want to bring it over the edge here. Now, I wonder, wow, that's really cool though. I actually kind of like it. I wonder if I should go this way a bit. See, and again, I forgot to wear gloves. So of course I'm getting covered in paint, but that's okay. Just trying to, I want, I want, I want this to go here. <laughs> but if I do that, I'm also kind of, wow, 
Wow, this sucker's slippery, man. <laughs> Where's my blow dryer? <laughs> I don't want to ruin the sides, but I also don't want to get paint all over everything. Holy smokes. Why was I not wearing gloves? <laughs> why am I not wearing gloves? Can someone please tell me why I'm not wearing gloves? Okay, I am going to go just back down this way. I want to go down off this corner. Come on, get down, get down. There we go. Maybe I can go. Ah, yes, I'm holding the push pins now. Now we're talking. I just want this sucker to move down. All right. It's not. <laughs> I almost just flipped it right over there. All right, I'm just gonna bring it back and I'm going, I really love the colors though. Holy cow, it's really pretty. Now, I'm gonna clean my hands off here. Let's see, I love it, it's so neat. Let me grab the towel here. I really should have been wearing gloves because now I would just take the gloves off and I'd be done. Lots of air bubbles, so I am going to torch it. I don't like torching. I'm going to torch this because there's lots of air bubbles. It's really cool. I love, I actually really like the negative space. That was part of what I had going. All right, I'm going to bring you guys down for a close up. All right, here it is. I'm loving the colors, I love the design. And I love the negative space. It's very interesting. It's not a Dutch pour, but I still love it. I think it's really cool. I'm really digging it. I'm gonna try the lights off. All right, let's see if there's any shimmer here from the pearl white and the pearl violet. Yes, there is. There it is. All right, guys, head on over to Tammy Anderson's channel next. She's up next with her switcheroo video. Let me know what you guys think about this piece in the comments below. And of course, it is available for purchase if anyone is interested. So thank you guys so much for joining me, the first video for The Great Switcheroo Part 2. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Head on over to Tammy's channel, guys. Until next time, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.